Hi everyone! Um, so I've decided to make a bookmark for this journal, which is as a, well, if you haven't been following, it's a sea, ocean, vintage, mermaid theme. So I got these beautiful, I think it's a Nautilus, Nautilus. I thought it was really, really nice. It's from the Graphics Fairy, and I think it's perfect for a book page. So what I'm gonna do is, I got these from the pages. So these are from a book, French book, on uh, shelves. And some of them have really nice pictures on them. So I'm just gonna use these instead of just throwing them out like this, I think. And then putting this one at the back and there's probably gonna be some decorations. Let's get started. These are from a, I think it's from a bag, like a food, food delivery bag, <laughs> which is like to use everything. Okay, so for French people, these Scissors are from Action. I saw them and I have been I had been looking for really small scissors for cutting stuff uh, for a while. I didn't think any were really nice and like I mean you do cut for like hours. So it's nice when you have something that doesn't hurt your hands after a while. And these are actually really nice. I was really surprised. So yeah, don't hesitate. All right, here we go. Then need to ink them. I'm using the Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. It's my absolute favorite, I have to say. I use it all the time. So, uh, this size would probably be this much. I'm thinking, let's first cut it straight. pretty good. It's perfect size actually. And that's four and a half centimeters. Okay. Eh. Uh, so how long should the book page be? Longer than your page, I think, and I'm not sure these are the right size page. Uh, so this should be 21, and I think my okay, I'm gonna make it. One, four and a half, and 
là-dessus. actually making eight journals. I know it's it's a huge amount. I don't know what got into me. <laughs> Seriously. But yeah, it's been really fun so far. I'm just hoping it keeps being fun. Okay, so five or four and a half. just gonna stick these I'm gonna ink them and uh, do this <laughs> I can't remember what the word is and then ink and then we're just gonna stick them where it should be so I don't think my glue stick is gonna be enough because it's quite really strong paper so I'm gonna use tacky glue. Again, for the French, I buy tacky glue from Action, and it's it's really good. I was really impressed. I didn't know tacky glue until I heard it from fellow scrapbookers. I love it. I have to say, I've just well, that's the only thing I use. Just wanted to show you what I'm making. So yeah, I'm I'm making eight journals, but I'm gonna show you the process for one of them. Um, well, they're all gonna be different because the pages are never the same, and you know, it's always different. But I'm gonna make the same pockets. I'm gonna make the same type of cards. So essentially, all in all, it's going to be pretty similar in the inside. And I guess I'll do a flip for of at least one of them at the end. And I really hope you like them. glue I use this type of brush it's much easier to clean in the end and then something underneath Up. 
Yeah, I like to get every single corner. Make sure it just doesn't come out. I hate it when in journal stuff comes out. It just, it doesn't, it's not, it's not right. It's not right. Shouldn't come out. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space. And then I use a card, credit card, any kind of card to just make sure the glue is absolutely everywhere. There we go, perfect. And next, actually, this could be quite nice. And I was thinking of using this. I just got it. I don't think it's very good quality. So I'm gonna try it on here first. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. This looks nice. I think this is quite nice and then I can just embellish the back with something else. This is cool. Right, okay, let's do this. Okay, so no need for tacky glue for your simple paper, I think. Personally, I like this kind of glue. Just need to make sure it's everywhere. So that's one done. I'm not gonna ink it right away because I might ink it blue. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I've ordered blue ink. Oh shoot. I've ordered blue ink from uh, from Tim Holtz. The, it's called Sapphire or something. So I'm gonna try that as soon as it gets here. Oh, I just realized I forgot to tear this part of the page oh well so here it is i'm gonna make eight more now so well seven more <laughs> so well, here we are all eight done okay so right now i just thought of a thing i just really like this little pockets they're made of tracing paper I think it's probably one of my favorite pockets ever and I thought it would be just perfect to put in our bookmark. I might trim the bookmark book page like here so it fits a bit better but I'll think about it. Let's just make this. Okay so our bookmark is four and a half centimeters so I'm gonna make this five centimeters so it goes in really well there's this flap that's gonna be one centimeter then there's this other flap it's like half a centimeter and then we have this little thing with the hole puncher right here okay so let's cut the tracing paper I'm literally just using this side like the whole side and I'm gonna cut it at 11 centimeters. So, uh, here we go. This one done, and then we do five and ten. And then we do a half centimeter here. Then you're gonna have to do the punch on the same side as the, the flap so that you don't see it. It's very important. 
I'm eyeballing the middle. Oops, <laughs> not big enough. Okay. Yeah, that's about right. Here. Perfect. And now we're gonna just lift it up. Here. If it's too big on the side, it doesn't matter, we can just trim it. You just need to make sure that it actually fits. So that's perfect. And then we're gonna do this part here. So you need to cut nice and wide so they don't and then this is the front, so the flap is going to go at the back, so you want to leave it at the front and just cut off the back. Here we go. Next we're going to glue everything together. Make sure it's all perfect. Here we go. Good. The heart part is actually seeing the pocket since it's transparent it's not easy here we go and then our favorite tool card Make sure everything is stuck perfectly and flat. There we go. Just need to ink it. Oh, and yeah, it's actually fine. I think I'll see you with the the rest of the journal depending on where I stick this pocket. And how it looks. So I'm just gonna leave it until the end. Alright, so that's two. And there's six more to go. <laughs> So I'll see you in a minute. Bye. And here we are, all eight done. So since it's pretty br uh, brittle um, tracing paper, I've put some washi tape in some of them because they they broke a little bit. But I thought it was really nice. It looked good. I might actually do it on all of them just to make sure they're not gonna break and it stays strong. So yeah, hope you like it. I'll see you soon. Bye!